fly on a little shrimp-like organism. It hops around on the bottom and it feeds on the algae that is settled down from the surface. So some idea of how rich an environment it's living in is given by how much stuff settles down. We put out traps that let stuff that's coming down settle into it. And if we know the area of the trap, how long it's been out, how much stuff it's captured, then we can get what we call the flux or the feeding rate, how many grams of organic matter settled to the bottom per meter square to bottom per day. So we have traps out here. There, there is that ball is the is just the catch trap. If you've watched Deadly as Catch It All, you've seen them go out and grab their grab their catch wire. And uh, then below that is a whole big bunch of floats to keep the whole trap thing up straight. Then a hundred pounds of concrete angling on the bottom, and then hung on that wire are two sets of these traps that are catching everything that settles. So every two to every two to four weeks, they go. We come out here and we take whatever's been caught in the traps and collect it, clean them out, and then redeploy them. And that's what they're doing here today. Obviously, the depth is zero there at the shore, and about a kilometer in from us is the end of what we call the shelf. And the, the shelf is pretty much sandy, shallow, warm, and it just sits over there between here and shore like a shelf. Between that station and this one, it starts to go down a steep slope. Now, it wouldn't be a steep slope if you were walking down it, but it's a steep slope in and that steep slope gives a whole different set of character to that environment, which we'll talk about. And then that goes from about 50 meters to 125, and then slowly it goes out to, to, to 200 meters or so, which we call a profundal. So we have the shelf, we have the slope, and we have the profundal. And the real honey hole for the diveria is on this slope. Eventually, all the organic matter is sent out there to settle, but all the good stuff gets put on the way. So this slope area, which we're at the beginning of right now, is, is the place where the really good, labile, high nutrition organic matter is constantly being put about. And if you live down there, you're in a great place. You're in a great place to to feed and grow. That's the 15. So there's a lot of lot more production here. So here's the here's the sediment trap collection. Do we understand the symmetry and where stuff goes and what we want to eat and why we want to live where we live? All right.